so we are done with the chat body now we are going to design the input the message input so let's do that before that uh, I'm going to write a few classes in this so I'm gonna write display flex and I want flex as column then I want this as flex as uh, align align items start and uh, yeah that should do it and I want the input to be at the bottom so I'm gonna write align my align items end at that in that so I want class name children class name excuse me class name I want this align items end I want a border just like our chat header border order as info so we get a nice steel color I want padding y3 and padding x4 I want a border top and then I want a D display as large block so it takes up the whole space and yeah inside this I'm going to write a div then it's class name as input group I want this to flex fill inside this I'm gonna put my input tag so I want a uh, type text and then I want class form control and I want its name as message I want its value to be null for now to be empty string for now sorry I want a placeholder I want it to say type a type your message save this so it's formatted for us this is much cleaner and what do we want we want a button besides this so button I want this class name as btn btn info we go that's a little bit color theme yeah that looks good I need a value for this so I'm gonna type send that looks much better now we want our div to be at the bottom so I'm gonna type margin top of auto that should put the div at the bottom yeah and now let's put an on change handler for this so I'm gonna go into my app then I'm gonna write message and set this as new set message I want this to be an empty string that's good then I'm, I'm gonna pass this inside here message message and then set message equals pass in the function set message nice I'm gonna go inside chat and put message and then set message I'm gonna put this inside a value so message I'm gonna type a on change handler and this is gonna point to a function 
which is going to be set message go now I could uh, put an on change handler here and our caller handle change function over here but I'm gonna deconstruct this here itself so current target I want this to be named as input and then I'm gonna put inside here I'm gonna put input dot value and go that should automatically um, type in that should automatically change our message property when we type our message so let's do that uh, in our login function as well as you can see I've already done that <laughs> I was testing this out for uh, so you can uh, set this I've said I've done the same thing which I've done over here you can do that on our login component so we don't need our handle function as you can see I've removed it from here so that's that for now